Hello, I'm Dr. Sarah. Welcome back to Habits for Health. So with today, we're going to talk about a particular F word within um, food. Uh, and that F word is fructose. Now, a lot of you are probably thinking, oh, fructose, that's the fruit sugar and that's good for you and you should eat that. And so we're just going to, we're going to talk about that a little bit and why too much of it is actually not a good thing for you. So Fructose is one of the simple sugars that we have in our food. So simple sugars are things like glucose, fructose, um, and then you have things like lactose, which are two glucose molecules together. Fructose and, and, and uh, glucose together make up a sugar molecule. So the white sugar that you have in your, um, in your cupboard, okay, so that's made up of fructose and glucose so when you ingest it your small intestine cuts into half in a nanosecond and then you get fructose and glucose now fructose unfortunately is only metabolized by one major organ in the body and that is the liver okay now it's interesting that the liver is actually one of the only organs that deals with uh, detoxifying toxins um, but fructose is metabolized by the liver now in small amounts, fructose is actually okay, okay? Normally your small intestine, uh, the, the small intestinal cells can actually metabolize it as well, and they will usually do that. If you overload your body with a stack of fructose, it overloads into the liver. What happens there? So if you get too much fructose going into the liver, the liver basically then ends up turning most of that fructose into fat droplets. Okay, so you might have heard the term fatty liver or fatty liver disease. Um, so sometimes when alcoholics uh, drink too much alcohol, they can actually end up developing uh, an alcoholic fatty liver. Um, and so when you have too much fructose, you end up getting what we call a non-alcoholic fatty liver. Now, the issue with having too much fructose is that so the liver ends up turning it into fat droplets now those fat droplets can either go into the bloodstream or they get stored in the liver causing your fatty liver one of the problems is though with a fatty liver is that you start to get something called insulin resistance so this might be a term you've heard of i'm sure for our nurses and doctors in the group you're very very well aware of this but insulin resistance if the if the liver starts to get quite fatty insulin resistance usually will follow so if you are having, uh, say, like whole fruit in the sense you're eating a whole apple, a whole orange, full of fiber and all the nutrients, that's fine because you only, you only absorb a small amount of fructose and you're getting the fiber and your body will love you for that. If you are downing a huge or even a cup of juice, which say has the amount of fructose from five or six different apples or oranges, you're dumping onto your system a massive amount of fructose that the liver has to then take. If you then add all the extra sugar that you're eating, okay, this is one of the reasons why sugar is a major problem, okay? It's not just because it's, you know, we say, oh, it's sugar, you know, it's, it's, it's empty calories. The problem is it's not just empty calories. It actually has a physiological and metabolic effect on the body. We know this now. There's huge amounts of studies and research that support this, okay? So what I'm going to say, so it, it basically, if over time you are having too much fructose, so my daughter is recording this and I feel like this video is going all over the place, but that's okay. Um, basically what I want you to start thinking of, if you're going to have something with fruit in it, have the whole fruit. Have the whole fruit. Please avoid fruit juice, okay? Fruit juice is not healthy. I know it's advertised as being healthy, but it's basically just sugar and water, okay? It's just sugar and water. Um, so what I want you to do when you think about having anything with um, fruit, go for the whole fruit, okay? Avoid fruit juice, okay? And obviously any, any sugary drinks, so Coke, any soda drinks, even some of the iced teas, anything that has added sugar in it, okay, it's all going to be dumping fructose into your system. Okay, so just remember, fructose usually turns to fat, okay? Fructose, too much fructose, fat, okay? We know this, 
okay? Um, so if you are eating and drinking, particularly drinking, if you're drinking a lot of drinks, uh, fruit juice, stop, <laughs> try and stop, cut down. Um, and really just try and if, and if you need to have a lot of fruit or if you like fruit and that's kind of your, your thing you like to eat, make sure you stick to whole fruit and try and stick to high fiber fruits as well. Okay. The ones that are going to reduce that absorption. Okay. Um, the other thing is that over time as well, fructose, it actually reduces, um, it doesn't stimulate, um, the hormones in your body that actually tell you that you're full. Okay, so when you're having fructose, so ex for example with the juice, when you have the full apple or the full orange, the fiber tells the body, oh, I'm feeling full. Okay, so you stop eating, you get about one apple. If you dump a glass of orange juice into your system, you can still eat, right? You think of when you go to Macca's, you can have a massive thing of Coke, right? All that sugary Coke, and you can still down a stack of stuff. So my advice is stay away from stay away from fruit juice fruit in itself is fine if you're eating it whole please do not think that those fruit wraps or those things that you get you know like the, the those those wrap those fruit sticks no okay that's just basically sugar and water whole fruit only okay all right and that's it for today so thank you for watching and, and make sure to subscribe